What's up guys, we had somebody request on one of our YouTube videos that we do a video on our camera setup that we run. So we're gonna do a quick video here showing you what we use for our B-roll, filming our hunts, audio, and all that stuff. Alright guys, we got a request to go over our camera setups and what we use for filming. Um, all of our videos that you have seen thus far and what we'll be using going into turkey season um, will be the Canon SL2. Um, it does 1080p at 24, 25, 30, or 60 frames a second. Um, Canon makes a lot of good DSLR cameras to film with. Some people choose to film with like video cameras. Um, I went ahead and chose a DSLR because I like the cinematic look that the DSLR gives. Um, we have a Rode mic, Rode video mic on top. Um, Rode makes several mics. They make the Rode Micro, the Rode mic, the Rode Video Mic Go, and the Rode Video Mic and the Rode Video Mic Pro. Um, all of them will be perfectly sufficient to uh, film a hunt, I believe. This is just the one that we chose to go with. This one plugs straight into your camera, but it runs its own battery power, so it's not pulling power from the camera. Um, we also do second angle cameras. Um, all three of us have a, a GoPro that we can film with, and we also have our phones. In today's world, your phone will take just as good a video as this Canon will. Um, it doesn't have quite as many options as far as zooming and lenses and stuff like that go, but your phone, if you wanna start filming your hunts and filming things, your phone would be perfectly fine for that. Um, this camera was one of the newer ones that came out when I picked what camera to buy. Canon also makes a Rebel series with T4, T5, T6, and T7i. All of those uh, work amazing just as well. It's all about the glass you put on it. We've got the uh, 18 to 55 here that we do interviews inside the blind, in the tree stand, stuff like this. With the 18 to 55, when we're filming the actual hunt itself, we have a Canon 55 to 250 that we use um, for the longer distance, longer distance um, filming. Um, if you watch our first video, you'll see the uh, the deer hunt that was taken. Um, Corey shot the doe. All of that actually was filmed with the uh, 55 to 250. Besides the second angles, was all my phone. So um, there's a lot of options out there. These are just some of them that we choose to use. This is what we'll be running probably early in the turkey season um, until the other guys pick up some cameras. Um, there's multiple options out there. Um, but like I said, if you're gonna start something, this is what we have. It works great for us. Um, audio was key. We started making our first few videos, filming audio on the phone and filming the video on the camera and trying to link those up in editing and that was extremely complicated so we went ahead and added a mic on top and it has made it 100 percent better um and you know look for used used lenses and cameras and stuff like that don't be scared to buy something used so you know if you guys want to get out and film your hunt take your phone with you buy you a little mount i've got a little walmart mount that i bought at walmart it's like this gorilla pod mount that we got right here but uh it's smaller it comes with a little phone clip on it you can throw your phone in it, hang it from a tree branch, whatever. Um, as long as you're filming and making those memories, that's all that matters. You don't have to have have the best camera in the world. This isn't the best camera by any means. This is just one that will do 60 frames a second. That was the main thing I wanted when I purchased the camera was the 60 frames a second. So I could really slow it down in editing and get good slow-mo, good, good crisp, clean slow-mo. Um, if the camera will only do 30 frames a second, that's fine. You can still slow that down. Any camera will work, Canon, Nikon, Sony, any of that will work. Um, it doesn't have to be GoPro brand. You can even film your entire hunt on a GoPro. Um, the newer GoPros are voice activated. 
Um, you can zoom on them. They have viewing screens on the back now. This one that I have does not. This is one of the older GoPro Heroes. I think it's the four. It doesn't have it, so I have to do everything through my phone. But any kind of film will work. Um, we run all of our cameras um, when we're hunting in blinds and stuff like that on a large man Frodo tripod that we have with a fluid head. It works great. Um, some of the smaller interviews and stuff like that we do, we run the smaller tripod here, the Joby. And uh, we also have muddy camera arms for the the trees muddy makes a great camera arm um you put a fluid head on it and it's like sitting on the ground with a tripod so they work great for that but like i said it doesn't have to be a muddy camera arm it doesn't have to be a manfrotto tripod it can be something you picked up at walmart that was 20 bucks that works just as well just to get you some film and get your hunts laid down guys we uh we're just getting started as you can tell like i said this is our main camera right now um, I'd like to be shooting about a, about a Canon A10 um, before it's all said and done. But uh, right now, this is what we've got. This is what we're working with. So all the film you see from us up until at least early turkey season, until somebody else picks up a camera, will probably be from this setup. GoPros, the SL2 with the Rode video mic, and uh, our phones, guys. So uh, keep watching. This is what we're using. If you have any tips or tricks or anything, let us know. Leave comments below in the bottom. Be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, we appreciate it, guys.